are in earnest. In the words of Pablo Picasso, every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once you grow up. I know what some of you are thinking. I do not like art. I'm not an artist. What the heck are you on about? But let me ask you this. How many of you drew as a little kid? On paper, on the walls, or maybe you're like me, preferred the soft, giant, remarkable canvas that's the interior roof of your parents' expensive car. <laughs> my grandma, aunt, and uncle are my main supporters when it comes to art. Their pieces are something I really admire, and they're really supportive of my own love for drawing. So for me, I've been able to keep that hobby around for as long as I have. But as I've gotten older, I've started to hear what everyone hears at one point or another. You're not good enough. Doodling is distracting. Artists don't have real jobs. And simply to put it, drawing will not get you anywhere in life. Once that seed was planted in my mind, it tainted art for me. It was like this constant shadow feeling of, I suck at this. I'm wasting my time. I should work, not draw. So I did what any reasonably doubtful child does these days and confided my troubles into a search query on none other than Google.com. Boom. Drawing is not some pointless activity. It's incredible. I mean, we've all heard it before, but I don't think we understand the magnitude. Or at least I didn't. What if I were to tell you that drawing can help you remember twice as much information writing can? What about relieving stress and anxiety? Two problems the average student faces. What about boosting creativity and conveying information efficiently, something valued in the workforce of today's world? What about something our ancestors did? I mean, our very history as people. So why are we so quick to kill drawing in the youth? So, let me introduce you to the benefits of art. Today, with uncertainties and change surrounding us, it is likely that we are all collectively dealing with stress and or anxiety. Kelly Lynch, her mental health counselor, finds that art therapy allows people to express themselves in ways that words can simply not. Through dynamic flow, symbolism, and rhythm, a study in 2016 assessed the effectiveness of reducing cortisol levels, a stress hormone, in 39 adults through art. The results found that most participants' cortisol levels lowered regardless of prior experience with drawing. 75% of the participants' stress levels effectively decreased. Another study in 2007 took 25 adults who were restricted to drop down things they were currently stressed or worried about. After a free 20-minute art session, their moods increased by 52%, short-term anxiety by 31%, and long-term anxiety by 14%. Yet another study from McGill University took students from in eighth grade and gave them tests to break their stress about a test they were going to take before and after an art making session. Free drawing for just 15 minutes, alleviated their stress by 15%. Improving memory and the ability to absorb information effectively and efficiently is also a huge benefit of art. Research from the University of Waterloo found that drawing allowed better memorization than other more practiced methods, whether you were good at art or not. Stating participants often recalled twice as many drawn than written words. Creating mental images and characteristics of objects was far more valuable than just writing the words down themselves, even if it was for as little as four seconds. You know, this was a fact that especially shocked me, because all my life as a student, I was primed on writing to take notes. Drawing was doodling, and therefore irrelevant and unhelpful. But recently, I've started to use it a lot more in my studies, and it has extraordinarily helped me with memorizing information. So what about explaining and expressing information? An MIT neuroscientist found that the brain processes and identifies images in as little as 13 milliseconds. 
The findings were supported by another study conducted in 2001 by the University of Parma and the University of St. Andrews. They found that macaque monkeys' neurons spotted images of faces even when they were presented for as little as 14 milliseconds. If I showed you this, this is an apple. You knew what I meant before I even got through saying it. So what about creativity, a crucial skill in our lives? Art boosts this. By being creative, it creates a drawing, it creates stronger pathways and connections between neurons, strengthening logical and strategical thinking skills and abilities. Research from Dartmouth College USA and Beijing Normal University took undergraduate students and gave them painting and drawing classes. Over the course of three months, the group showed an improvement of creativity from an increase in growth of white matter in the interior section of their brains, as well as, well as improved scores on creative behavioral testing. I mean, all of this. This world behind just shapes, colors, and lines, it's so much more than just drawing. It's incredible. So I continue drawing, and if I want you to take anything away from this talk, it would be this. You do not need to be good at art. You can have the skill level of my dad and still be able to reap the benefits. And you don't need to devote your life to art. All you need to do is give it a shot. This is my suggestion for you. If you are unlucky enough to be a student, you can use art to help you studying and memorizing information. Here's an example of some science work I did a couple months ago. You can doodles to prompt me. I memorized this in maybe 20 minutes. It used to take me a solid day to memorize half. Your teacher, or really just have any other occupation, you can use visuals to help you introduce and explain information. Or if you're just really anybody, you can use drive to help you relax before, during, or after those stressful moments that we all encounter. But really, just pick up that pencil again because us drawing as little kids makes us a whole lot smarter than we think. Drawing is us helping and guiding hands in a world that isn't always so helpful. Thank you.